You know, it's kind of easy to get lost when playing Animal Crossing New Horizons for the first time. Whether you're a new player or a longtime fan of the game series, the game leaves you a little confused on what to do next. In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to do in your first days, and we're getting started right now. Hey guys, what's up? It's Phil, and welcome back to the channel where I help you play awesome games. And guys, if you're new to the channel, I provide weekly videos to help you when you get stuck, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss my next upload. Now, before we begin, I want to be sure to mention that this guide may be a spoiler for some players. I'm going to walk you through the game's progression from the beginning all the way to the game's ending credits, so check the time links below in the description of this video if you'd like to skip through some of the sections. Now, on your very first day, when you arrive on the island, one of the first things that you should do is speak with Tom Nook, Timmy, and Tommy. Throughout the various conversations, you'll receive a tent to place on your favorite part of the island. Shortly after you've placed your tent and spoken with Tom Nook once again, you can speak with your fellow residents to help them with their tent setups. Now here's your opportunity to place their tents where you'd like them, or if you don't care, they will simply just choose the spot themselves. Next, Tom Nook will announce a celebration with the start of this new island community. However, he is short a couple of resources and asks you to collect about 10 tree branches for the campfire and 6 pieces of the native island fruit. You can find the tree branches laying under the trees or by shaking any tree repeatedly. If you run into any of the bees, you can attempt to run and try to get into the, one of the tents to get away. But you're most likely going to get stung and if you do, it's really no big deal. You can go over to Timmy and Tommy and grab some medicine, and sometimes your fellow residents will give you some after talking with them and after they see that you've been stung by a bee. After you've given Tom Nook all the resources that's needed, here's where you'll be able to name your island. And just be sure to name it carefully as you won't be able to change it later. But regardless of what you do name it, the group of residents will all love it and be excited for the new name. During the celebration though, Tom Nook will announce the need for a resident representative and he'll appoint you to ensure the island prosperity. Hey guys, leave me a comment below and let me know who your first two villagers were. And then when you're ready for your first day to be over, you can speak with Tom Nook to receive a camping cot and then place it in your tent. You'll go to sleep for the night and then when you wake up for day two, you'll find that your game is now synced with your Nintendo Switch's clock and you'll be introduced to one of Animal Crossing's most unique features game progression with real-world time. Alright, so now moving on to day two, the moment that you step out, time will begin to flow just as it does in real life. Tom Nook's gonna be waiting outside to give you your Nook phone, the Nook Miles app, he'll introduce you to the Nook Miles and the Nook Miles program, and he'll provide an itemized bill for your island getaway package expenses. Now in order to progress further, you'll want to start by donating bugs and fish to Tom Nook. However, you'll need to find a fishing rod and a bug net in order to do so. So, head over to the resident services tent and speak with Tom Nook to participate in his free DIY workshop. After you've completed the workshop, he'll give you the flimsy fishing rod recipe. And then just as soon as you've crafted the flimsy fishing rod, Tom Nook will give you the recipe for the flimsy bug net. And now you've got a couple of tools that you can use to catch the bugs and fish. And then as you donate more bugs and fish to Tom Nook, you'll progress very rapidly towards the museum construction, which we're covering next. Now, as you donate more and more bugs, you'll start to realize that every one that you donate, you start to unlock more and more things, such as the flimsy axe, you'll unlock some DIY uh, recipes for the bonfire, wooden stakes, some flower seeds, and then eventually, once you have five creatures donated, he'll give you Blathers' tent. And then once you make it to that spot of the game, you can take the museum tent and place it somewhere on your island. Hey guys, if you're finding value in this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Okay, so moving forward to day three. Blathers will arrive and he'll be waiting for you in his tent for a visit. Instead of donating creatures to Tom, you'll now be donating them to Blathers. After you speak with him, you'll be tasked with donating about 15 creatures and or fossils to him. Once you have reached the threshold of about 15, Blathers will start the construction work on the new museum and the construction will be completed the next day. Next, you'll want to head over to the resident services tent and speak with Tom Nook, and then he's going to throw another celebration for the new museum. 
Okay, so the next primary task that we have is to upgrade your tent into a home. And in order to do that, you'll need to pay off your moving fees of 5,000 Nook Miles. Now, 5,000 Nook Miles may seem like a lot, but if you check your Nook Miles app, you can find some super easy tasks to do for the Nook Miles. Additionally, if you complete this step where you pay off your 5,000 Nook Miles, you'll also unlock the ability to redeem Nook Miles at the Resident Services Terminal. Okay, so now that you've paid your initial debt, you'll want to get another loan from Tom Nook. However, this next loan is to upgrade your tent into an actual house. It'll take a day for your house to be finally built, and you'll notice that several things have been unlocked, such as the Dodo Airlines Mystery Island Tours and the Nook Miles Plus program on your Nook phone. You'll also be able to purchase the tool ring and add additional storage to your character by spending Nook Miles in the Resident Services Terminal. These couple items really help the gameplay, so I definitely recommend that you get them. Now, in the meantime, you can speak with Timmy and Tommy about Nook's Cranny. After you talk to them, you'll find out that you need 30 softwood, 30 wood, 30 hardwood, and 30 iron nuggets to complete the Nook's Cranny build. And then once you've collected all the items, go back to them and donate the items. And in return, they'll give you a building plot. And now you can choose the location of the new Nook's Cranny building somewhere on your island. Now at this point, iron nuggets can be hard to come by, so it may take you a little bit of time to do this, but if you're having issues finding more iron nuggets, then check out my other video on how to get them. I'll put a link in the description below. So once you find a spot for Nook's Cranny, it will be open the next day, but in result, this unlocks the Nook's shopping catalog at the Resident Services Terminal, and this is where it allows you to purchase items that you've already discovered for purchasing them again. Now, you may have already seen Mabel arrive on your island to sell some clothing items recently, and if she hasn't showed up yet, she definitely will. Make sure you purchase something from her on three separate days, because once Nook's Cranny has been built, and you have bought at least three items from her on three separate days, she'll open the opportunity to build the Able Sister Shop. So around the same time that you're working on the Nook's Cranny build, you should be able to speak to Tom Nook about building the island's first bridge. And as usual, you'll need some resources in order to build the construction kit. You'll need four log stakes, four clay, and four stone to complete the kit. Once you have the bridge construction kit in hand, you'll find a spot on the river somewhere to place it. Okay, so now once the bridge build is completed, you'll go back to Tom Nook once again. He'll inform you that he has a plan for attracting some more island residents. He'll give you three housing plots to place somewhere on the island, and he'll also provide you some handy DIY recipes for crafting each item that's needed for each house. Now the good news is, is that one of these DIYs is the much needed ladder. You'll be tasked with finding a spot and building three interior and three exterior DIY items for each house. When you craft the interior items, you'll place them inside the small box in front of the house, and the exterior items can be placed around the outside of the house in the yard. And then if you ever get lost or confused, you can inspect the little construction box on, on the outside of the house plot, and you can see which items are needed for each home. Okay, so after you've crafted all 18 items and placed them in or around the houses, you'll unlock a few things. You'll unlock the ability to do fencing, a couple of residents will move in, and Tom Nook will offer a DIY customization workshop where it gives you the ability to customize some of your tools and different items. You'll also have a new character wandering your island known as Harvey, and if you speak to him, he'll invite you to his island. Now once you have a total of five residents moved onto the island, Tom Nook will suggest that the resident services tent be upgraded into a town hall style building. Now with this new building, you unlock the ability to build more bridges and inclines, you can move the already placed buildings, and it will open up some more home customization options for you. All you have to do is speak to Tom Nook after the building has been upgraded and you can access these new features. And in addition to all of that, once you have the upgraded resident services building, Isabel arrives. So your next main objective to progress through the game is to attract more villagers to the island. Now one of the ways that you can attract more villagers to your island is by the campsite. So once you have the resident services building upgraded, you can talk to Tom Nook and ask what should I do? And to make a long story short, he'll tell you that the campsite is the next thing that we need to set up on the island. He'll also tell you that you need 15 of the following items in order to build the construction kit. You'll need 15 softwood, wood, 
hardwood, and iron. Once you've placed the campsite down, you'll need to wait until the next day for the construction to complete. In the next day or two, a campsite visitor will arrive at the campsite and you can speak to them to invite them to stay on your island. You'll have to run between the campsite visitor and Tom Nook to seal the deal. And additionally, right around this time, you'll be able to speak to Tom Nook about placing down more housing plots for about 10,000 bells. Now, if you do need more help about adding villagers with the campsite, then be sure to check out my other video on that topic. So continue to place housing plots and adding additional villagers to your island until you have at least 8 villagers. But if you want to keep going to the maximum of 10 villagers, that's no big deal, you can do that. But your main focus coming up next is to get your island to a 3 star island rating. And here's where you've unlocked the ability for the island star rating system. If you speak to Isabel at any point, she'll give you your island star rating, and then she'll also tell you what you've got to do to improve it. Be sure to take note of her advice though, because it's exactly what you need to do to improve your island star rating. Now if you get stuck on trying to get a 3 star island rating, then check out my other video where I explain exactly what you need to do to decorate your island for 3 stars. And as always, I'll put a link in the description of this video. So keep checking back with Isabel to see where you're at and to see what you need to do next. And then once your island does hit the three stars, I have a full series playlist on tips and tricks for Animal Crossing New Horizons, so be sure to check that out next. And if this video provided value to you, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss my next upload.